So these products are not dry, they are very pigmented, they are super matte, and they are very long wearing. What more are you looking for in a liquid lipstick? I mean, personally, that's the dream. That's living the dream in a liquid lip. Today, I am here to talk about some amazing new products that I just got. These are the Jouer Liquid Lipsticks, or what Jouer calls them, the Long Wear Lip Creams. So in this video, I am going to first tell you about the shades, tell you what I got, and then after that, I will kind of talk a little bit about the product, and I will tell you what I think of them so far. I can tell you right now, I really like them, but if you keep watching, you'll be able to kind of get a lot of information in this video, hopefully. So I have obtained three shades. They went on pre-sale this past week, and I follow their creator on Snapchat. She snapped and said that they were gonna be doing a pre-sale of these items. I decided this was my chance to get them. I had a Gen Beauty code that gave us 30% off, and I also had a $15 gift card from my La Matchbox, so I decided to kind of take advantage of both of those, and I ended up getting a pretty great deal. I think I got all three of these for $25, but they do retail for $18. These are 0.21 ounces or six milliliters, so I think they might be a tiny bit smaller than normal liquid lips, but other liquid lipsticks go for around $24. It depends on the brand, but generally speaking, they're usually over $20. The price is on point for what the rest of the market has for a high-end liquid lip. So right now, they have come out with six shades. The first one is Creme Brulee, which is one that I got. It is a very nude color. For those of you who don't like to go nude because it washes you out or you feel like it doesn't look good on you, this is a great middle of the line nude. It pulls a little bit of a peachy tone to keep it where it shows up on your lips and it still makes a statement while being in that nude friend zone. <laughs> I don't know why that came to mind. It's still in the nude zone where it's pretty neutral. It's a great nude that I think will look good on everyone. The next one is Noisette, which is what I am wearing on my lips right now. It is a dark, dark nude. So it's not quite brown, but it's not pink. It's right in the middle of those two. So even though it's a dark nude, it doesn't go all the way to the brown side of the family. So it's not like a Kylie True Brown K. It's almost as if you took a True Brown liquid lip and mix in a tiny bit of pink. This is a really pretty shade for people who want to try a darker lip but don't want to go too dark. You kind of want something that's a little bit safer. This is a great first dark lip option. So the next one that I got is called Praline. It's a really pretty metallic pink color. And if you're wondering, metallic liquid lip, yes, it is a metallic liquid lip. I know most of them you think matte, colors, it has a matte feel, but it has a really pretty metallic sheen. The metallic sheen gives it a little bit of a mauve tone, but it is actually a pink color. It may not be for everyone, I mean, especially if you love your mattes, but for me, I'm not obsessed with mattes. I think I like them just as much as I like glossy lips or whatever, so trying a metallic finish is really awesome, and there's not a lot of products like this out on the market. Basically what happened is I got all three of these, and I tried them, and I fell in love with them, and I wish I would have bought all six of them. But when they come out in March, I will have to get my hands on the other three that I didn't get this time. So these recently came out, but I have been wearing them basically for three days straight, almost uh, four days straight now. And um, I've worn all three shades for a significant amount of time. I am really, really impressed with these. These are some of the best, if not the best, liquid lipsticks that I've ever tried. Again, these are kind of marketed as a long-wearing lip cream, so they're not necessarily taking on the liquid lipstick name. They're essentially in that liquid lip family. They are not kidding about the long-wearing. These things stay amazingly. I put Noisette on at 2 p.m. It is now 8 p.m. And these lips are not dry. I don't need a touch up, they're still there. When I touch my lips right now, they feel like there's nothing on it. You know sometimes when you have a liquid lip and you touch it, you feel that layer of product over your lips and they feel a little bit dry and sometimes there's little balls or they're kind of crusty. For this, it feels like your actual lip skin. So it's so thin that it does not feel like you're even wearing anything. A lot of liquid lipsticks get a bad rep for being very dry, and that's because when you have a long-wearing product, the ingredients that go into it 
in order to keep it long wearing a lot of times is very dry. I don't know a lot about the science of makeup, but I know that, you know, when you put something in that's long wearing, you want you want to try to suck out a lot of the oils because that's what makes things go away, that's what makes things, makes things settle, so that's why a lot of long wearing products are very dry. And that's why liquid lipsticks can be very dry. With liquid lips, you have a lot of different formulas. So across the board with all the brands, everybody pretty much has liquid lipstick right now because they're very popular. In my experience, there's a lot of different textures. So you have ones that are kind of moussey, you have ones that are thin and wet, you have some that are kind of creamy. You have a lot of different products that are kind of trying to do the same thing. So I think everyone's really trying to find that perfect formula. I don't know exactly what's in their formula, but I do know that whatever it is, they got it right. These are very liquidy, almost watery, when you first apply them. So they go on very smoothly, but when they dry, they dry super matte and very, very thin. So as you saw in the swatches, it's just a solid wash of color. You can't see through it. It's the perfect formula of feeling thin, but looking thick. Um, that's the best way I can describe it because you're not losing any pigment with that thin formula. But as soon as it dries, it's, it's so soft. I mean, I'm not kidding. Like, But nothing's coming off, nothing's flaking off. It's not losing color, it's not losing pigmentation. I can't do this with most of my liquid lipsticks. I can't put my lips together because it flakes or they stick together. Is that this is a different formula in the fact that you can touch it, you can rub it. I mean, I'm rubbing it. It's crazy. I still expect something to come off when I'm doing that and it doesn't. You can run your finger, this is on my hands, across it. Nothing is flaking off. This has been on for six hours and there's still no flaking going on. So, I don't know. I, I guess I'm kind of flabbergasted. I wore praline to my boyfriend's dinner and we went to dim sum, so we were eating uh, not muffins, I almost said muffins. <laughs> what are they called? Dumplings. Jeez. My lipstick didn't move and I actually forgot that I was wearing lipstick or this lipstick because it didn't feel like I had anything on my lips. That's how light wearing it feels that you don't even know that you're actually wearing something on your lips. But it looks bomb, you know? So that's why I am such a big fan of these so far. Jouer has been a brand that has really grown on me. You know, the way that they put so much love into their products and to me, it feels like they actually care about making the best product that they can make. For those of you who have made up your minds about liquid lipsticks, they're not for you, they're too dry, uh, you don't like the way they look, you don't like the way they feel. I've heard that from a lot of my girlfriends, actually, where people have said, you know, liquid lipsticks aren't for me. If you're one of those people, I would definitely say, this is a product worth trying. Give them a chance because I think these are something that will be a little bit different than what you've tried and still be on trend with that matte lip and that liquid lipstick. Jouer is really great about giving away codes. If you follow Jouer girls on YouTube, they usually include some sort of discount or code in their um, in their down bar. You wanna try one of these and you're looking for a discount, go follow them on YouTube, watch their videos. They're very generous with their codes. Christina Zilbert on Snapchat also gives a lot of codes away. She does a ton of giveaways. I think they're a company that really wants you to have their product. So they're trying to give you these discounts here and there whenever they can. And um, I love that. I think that's great. So I think that's it for now. I hope I've given you enough information to where you can make a decision on if you want to try these. Obviously, this is not a sponsored video. I don't have enough followers for that. but. Either way, these products are awesome. In my opinion, they really worked for me. If you also picked up some of these shades, let me know. I wanna see what you think of them, if I am alone in this amazing world, or if other people feel the same way as I did. So let me know in the comments. All of my social information is listed below, so you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever it is that you do. Um, I probably have it, so <laughs> let me know if you follow me and I will follow you back and we could be friends. So thanks for watching guys and if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you can see more and I will see you next Tuesday. Isn't that, that's what, that's a bad word. That's what they say for, <laughs> I can't. Yeah, that's what they say for the C word. See you next Tuesday. So a couple weeks ago I went to Gen Beauty, sorry I'm so late on this, but I really wanted to show off my goodies that I got.